Welcome to this video. My name is Mahendra Pawar and I work for BMC customer support team. In this video, we will learn how to configure file system monitoring using Petrol for Unix and Linux KM. We are going to configure the file system monitoring using TrueSight console. So please make sure that you have the access to the TrueSight console and the permissions to create a monitoring policy. To configure the file system monitoring, Let's log into the TrueSight presentation server. Once you are on TrueSight presentation server, click on the configuration tab. Click on infrastructure policies. Click on create policy. You can give name to the policy. Define the agent selection criteria. Add the descriptions to the policy. Enable the policy and click on add monitoring configuration button from the list of available monitoring solution select the solution name petrol for unix and linux select monitoring profile as unix storage and monitoring type as file system if you select all then disk file system and storage so these all category will automatically be monitored so if you have a requirement to include or exclude certain file systems, then select the file system. You can add the inclusion or exclusion criteria. File systems can either be monitored locally or remotely. To configure the file system monitoring locally, Petrol Agent and Unix KM must be installed on the server which you want to monitor. For remote monitoring, there should be a SSH connectivity between the Petrol Agent server and the server which you want to monitor. On remote server, it is not required to install Petrol Agent or Unix KM. If you are monitoring the file system remotely, then you need to enter the host name of the remote server. You can exclude certain file system by defining the exclusion criteria. By default, all the file systems will be included for the monitoring. In addition to that, you can also exclude the file systems based on the type. So you can ignore the NFS file system. You can ignore the CDFS file system, ProArc file system, custom file systems. Or if you have a custom file system type, you can define it here. After entering all the details, you can save the policy. We can see that this file system monitoring policy has been created. You can check whether the policy is applied to the specified agent. To verify the monitoring, go to the monitoring tab, click on the devices, and here you can search for the device. Here you can see that it has created the Unix OS container, and under the Unix OS, we have the file systems monitoring. All the file systems which are exist on the server are getting monitored. By default, file system's name will be truncated on the TrueSight console. If you want to see the full name of the file system, push the below configuration variable. If the value is set to zero, file system name will be truncated. If the value is set to one, the newly discovered file system will have the full name instead of the truncated names. Thank you for watching this video.